Hey guys, what is going on? Dan's News here. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you my swords. Um, I had mentioned that I'm going to be doing that, so I'm doing that. Woohoo! Um, the one you might know a little bit about, um, not a little bit about, but if you saw Kutz's uh, sword video, and if you haven't, check out the link in the description after you watch this one. <laughs> but if you saw it already, um, Coots actually has the companion sword. I should probably do a little bit of explaining really quick. There's an Asian uh, gift store um, at uh, the mall here, um, and uh, they have replica swords for movies and such. Um, and so we've been through there a couple times since we moved in, um, but uh, about a month or so ago, um, I finally caved when we were in there, and I was like, I need to get a couple of the swords. So. I got a couple swords. Coots also got a couple swords. He got um, uh, an elvish sword from Lord of the Rings. Um, and what is a companion sword to this sword? Um, uh, he, th I have Aragorn's sword from Lord of the Rings when he was uh, the king. This is... Um, uh, I don't know exactly what this, which one this is supposed to be. Narsil uh, is the one I think that's, in sh that's shattered and reforged. I don't know, um, but this is this is uh, Aragorn's sword. This is either the sword before Aragorn, like before it was shattered, or this is the one that was reforged. I do not know. But Coots actually has Aragorn's sword from when he was the the ranger, and uh, that's kind of a cool little nifty sword. But uh, yeah, so I have the sword of the king. Um, that's pretty damn awesome. Um, the only thing about this is is it's bent. And you can actually tell from the sheath a little bit. I don't know how well you can tell, actually. But yeah, it's bent um, a little bit, and it's annoying, but uh, sword. Um, let me show you a little bit of the markings up close. actually has a bit of elvish on the blade, and it looks cool. Shiny! Let's do a bit of this. That's neat. But, yeah, so, well, well, now I'm going to mess up the focus. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool sword. It's actually, it's not outrageously heavy. Um, it's actually kind of cool. Um, I just wish it wasn't bent. See, this would be me pointing it directly at the lens from the, like, handle. Like, I don't know how well you can tell. But it's bent, and it annoys me. But, uh, yeah. But it's, it's still a really awesome sword. Um, this is actually really cool. i got to unfocus again. Turn the light here. Yeah. Towards, God, that's hot. <laughs> Let's see how well you can see that. It actually has more Elvish here on the, uh, on the handle of the sword. So that's really cool. Um, it has a bit of gold right there, and again, the uh, markings on the blade are sweet. And then it's a dulled end, so not sharp. How close do I have to get? Not sharp. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that is the sword. It's really cool. I really like the, uh, the sheath. Um, it is uh, pretty awesome. Um, just like this, it has a bit of a belt thing right there. And uh, yeah, cool stuff. I like this sword. I like playing with it. Because it's a toy, kids. <laughs> the other sword um, that you guys wouldn't know, um, not that you guys wouldn't know, that you guys uh, haven't seen anything from um, is uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a bit of a uh, Blade fan. Um, I like the Blade movies. I like Blade 1, Blade 2. Blade 3 is alright, but... Uh, <laughs> and actually Blade the series, I have all of them. Um, I like Blade. So I have Blade Sword. Um, this was actually the display model. Um, and funnily enough, this was, one, the display model, um, and two, cheaper than Aragorn Sword. And I actually like this better. Um, one, because it's lighter. Um, it's not as detailed as that sword, but it's it's lighter and kind of cooler. And uh, yeah, it actually has some botches on it. Um, 
as far as the paint job on the handle. Um, there actually is no bottom to this handle, so I could stick my finger in it. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, I didn't know I was going to get the display model because it was the last one they had. They didn't have any more uh, like back stock or whatever. So she gave me the display model, <laughs> but um, it's a cool sword. Um, not 100% movie accurate, but I wouldn't expect it to be um, because th this is actually an officially licensed uh, sword. It had the you know Blade Three thing. On it. I don't know about the Lord of the Rings swords, but this was actually officially licensed because it had the Blade uh, Trinity logo. I think this is from yeah Blade Trinity. Um, but uh, yeah, um, Blade Sword actually has a, a mechanism on the handle um, where if uh, if when like somebody just grabs it or whatever, and if you don't, well, this is only in the first movie. I don't think it happens in any of the other movies. Maybe it happens in the second one. I don't know. But um, there's a button you push. Yeah, it is, does happen in the second movie, but I don't know if it uh, um, actually springs out. But they have it in there. Where uh, yeah, if you're holding it. Um, you have to push this button uh, within a certain amount of time, or spikes come out of these lines on the handle. Let me show you up close. Um, spikes will come out of these little gaps here and, and kind of cut your hand off. But um, the painting's kind of eh on it. Um, don't know how well you can tell in that light that uh, the painting on the handle, it was all painted like uh, this is just black paint and this was just silver paint. Um, and it seems they just did the silver and then did the black and so there are spots where it's kind of imperfect and kind of poopy looking but um, yeah it's not it's not you know without its flaws but it's kind of you know still neat I haven't got to the actual blade but there's the hole this actually has um, the uh, kind of back strap sort of thing where um, where you can do this and put it on your back Let's make sure I don't hit the light. Um, <clears throat> so you could have this on like under a leather jacket, and if you wanted to attack a bunch of people, um, it would just be on your back right there, because um, that's how Blade has it. He has it where you can just kind of draw it out like that. So let's see the actual sword. Uh, the actual sword is actually pretty cool. Nothing super remarkable about the uh, the actual blade. But uh, it's not like the, the Lord of the Rings one where there's etching on it. But it's, it's really, really light. Um, and unfortunately, I think it's starting to come loose. Again, it's uh, the, the quality of the, the actual like make isn't the best. But I still like it. But yeah, it's worrisome that this is kind of loose in the handle. Like you can feel it jiggling in the handle back and forth. But uh, yeah. <sighs> It's really cool and it's awesome to have because I'm a big fan of the Blade series. So it's like having Blade Sword. There's the sword. It's a sword. Wah! But yeah, so Blade Sword. Um, you guys like Blade? I like Blade. I like Blade. So, yeah, so that's that sword. <clears throat> I actually have a uh, Blade movie poster. I used to have a Blade movie poster in my room, but uh, in uh, the Denver Comic Con video where I show off my swag, um, I don't know if that's out. Uh, well, it, it, by the time you watch this, it, it'll probably be out. Um, if, it just came, if this video just came out, probably not yet, but uh, when that video does come out, I actually bought a Blade poster. Um, another Blade poster at uh, uh, Denver Comic Con along with a bunch of other posters. So check that video out when it's up. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, I, I definitely want to get this um, kind of mounted on the wall um, under the poster. Um, and that'd be really cool. But uh, yeah, so that's my swords video.